Hi, it's Firon, and I am joined by nobody. I'm just doing commentary all by my lonesome. I'm joined by Thor's knee. I wonder what he has to say about the match. Thor's knee? Thank you. Okay, they're just going right into it. I didn't even get time to enter in their information. So all you know is that player two is static. There we go, information. Okay, static playing Samus. Uh, I believe he was beating Selim in friendlies earlier with Samus, and that's why he's doing this pick. Okay, now I have to go do something. Bye. Okay, hi, I'm back. Selim actually takes the first stock. Congratulations, Selim. You did it. You took the first stock from Static. You're a national hero. Uh, step two is going to be to take the second stock from Static. Um, I don't know how he's going to do it. Probably not like that, if I had to guess. I feel like charge shot or like chargeable neutral bees like that in general are such a nerve-wracking thing to have on your character. Because like when you finally get it fully charged, I feel like it's so nerve-wracking. Like don't mess up, don't misuse this gift that your opponent is using. You know? That, that that's how I personally think about it. Like Aurasphere is different, Lucario's Aurasphere, because it's such a good neutral tool as well as an extremely good projectile. I feel like Shadow Ball as well kind of has that effect where it's such a good, not bait neutral, but it, it's such a it's such a condemning move. Like as soon as a Mewtwo starts charging at he's like, I dare you come to me. But like Samus's charge shot or like Sun Salutations, it's just like as soon as you start charging it, the opponent's probably gonna find a way in. And since you don't have, you know, amazing neutral tools there's always the chance that they just interrupt the charge so when you finally do get that charge it's a lot of pressure on you to use it right Ooh, nice air dodge from static i would have gotten hit by that fair nice buffer doesn't get trumped Gets nicked by the back air, barely leaves it. It's trumped again. Oh, Static goes for a little bit of a. I don't know if it was disrespect or if it was just uh, you know, trying to end it all. It's back aired again. Same as back air, not very strong. And then stage spikes him with the fair. Interesting. They're laughing about it. These are, these are Delaware players coming to crash a Salisbury tournament. They're having fun. I like that the names are aligned like right under their chins. I didn't. It, it wasn't intentional because the uh, the spacing is preset. I didn't edit it at all. It just happened to match their postures. Selim wipes his nose a little bit. He's gotta get rid of that itch before the game. I understand. I respect it. Uh, Stunts Bowser. This is a formidable force to say the least. Static's Bowser is it is it is a regional. Uh, so K 
compared to the, the local level players that we have here, a regional level threat is something that isn't, isn't handled with the best uh, gusto. Uh, there are a few players here in SBY and even in his home region of Delaware that are able to give Static a bit of trouble, but uh, in general his skill level is pretty high. He's, uh, he's definitely an interesting proprietor of Bowser Down Air. I feel like I don't see too many Bowsers use Down Air, but it is very unusual to watch a static match and not see at least two Down Airs. So uh, he, sort of, he sort of keeps you on your toes. Kind of, kind of using the options that nobody expects. And yep, just two Koopas, quick two stock. Selma at least got him to 100. Noble effort on his part, but like I said, Static Bowler, regional level threat. Don't think I can say the same for Selma's Lucina. Good as he is, this is not to knock a. Okay. The switch. Easy two stocks in game two as Bowser wants to switch to Sheik. I suppose he's confident. These two do play quite often, so Static probably isn't shaking too much at the idea of fighting Selim. And even if he loses to Selim, uh, this is this is a Static Classic. He's just going to go all Bowser and losers anyway, and sweep through the buck. Especially at a four money tournament like this, him and uh. Him and his, his friend and his training partner, I'm not sure how much they actually train together, uh, Catbug are here. They're the number one and two seed, the, uh, the Chris's. I'm not sure which is which, because frankly the Grand Finals match doesn't matter too much. Because it's pretty much set in stone that it's going to be the two of them Grand Finals. However... We do have quite a few SBY threats that have taken out Catbug in the past. Taking out Static is not an easy feat for SBY. As I believe only... As I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure anyone but BB has taken a set off of Static playing all Bowser. Oh, that's incorrect. Astra has as well. Uh, but I believe Vodka has gotten two sets off of Catbug, playing Diddy, his main, and somebody else is taking a set off of Catbug. I think that's it, actually, just Vodka. But he has taken two. This is, uh, this is sort of what I was thinking was going to happen. Nope. A stage spike was not what I was thinking was going to happen. That was sort of how I saw this game going, frankly, is that Selim's Lucina is just consistent enough that such a such a free flow kind of uh, rush down, hard commitment to get a kill character like Sheik wouldn't do well against such a consistent powerhouse like Selim. And he is, uh, he is doing a good job at bringing it back to the game. He was down quite a bit at one point. But, uh, Selim still has the lead. And this is, this is up smash territory. Oh! I am wrong up smash, but it was indeed an up smash. Selim pops off over his defeat. He is wrapped with all sorts of awe, and they hug it out. You can barely see it on the camera. What a pop-off from Selim.